Hello, welcome back to the Silka Velo channel. Today we're going to be diving into the world of computer mounts, specifically looking at Silka's Gisela. Which mount you might need for your bike, the easy installation that it has, and some frequently asked questions that you guys have asked us. So the Chazella mount was actually something that the EF team came and asked Josh to do to design a more arrow out front computer mount for us. So that is how the Chazella was born. It fits a wide range of different computers for your ride. Um, so we have Wahoo and Garmin Pucks to support different types of computers that you might have. Chazella computer mount is 3D printed and completely manufactured here at our facility in Indianapolis, Indiana, and it is coated with this nice black Cerakote layer on top of it. The Cerakote is a composite epoxy coating that is sprayed onto these to make it have this like extra strong finish. Once you apply the Cerakote to a product, it becomes corrosion, chemical, and abrasion resistance, giving it kind of this extra layer to help protect it and provide that extra strength to your product. The Chazella weighs between 27 and 32 grams, and it can save you 3 to 6 watts. It's got a super aero design that helps the air flow over it and around. Another cool feature of it is on the bottom here, you'll notice there's this little uh, accessory attachment. So it makes it super easy to change out your lights or your GoPro or whatever you may have. So all you do is you press down on this little button here and you just slide it out and you can just easily swap or go charge your device or whatever you may need to do. And then you can just easily slide it on. This little device here, it uses a T-Tree mounting system that Josh was inspired by from F1 cars, which makes it super easy to do this. It also has a screw spot right there, so you can also screw it down if you want to have more security here or prevent it from being able to be stolen as easily. The Chazella mounts do come with two pucks, so you have your black for Garmin and your gray for Wahoo, and it's super easy to interchange them. We'll show that more in the installation phase. Something to note about the Chazella design is that it does have a weight limit. I have seen it very few times of these getting broken when people put like three different things on it and attach all kinds of stuff to it. So you want to make sure you follow the weight limit and that's going to be 150 grams for your computer on top and 250 grams for an accessory on the bottom. All right, now let's look at selecting which computer mount you might need for your stem. So there's many different stems out there. There's an integrated and two bolt are the two big things that are going to determine which Chazella you need. So the two bolts look like this. And the only difference, there's standard and wide. And the only difference here is going to be if you notice that this, these two bolt holes are a little bit closer than these two, which are much wider. So that's the big difference here of the difference between these two. You're going to use these for standard four bolt face plates. So let's figure out which one we need. So I have this stem here and I am going to figure out which one I need for it. So to do that, I'm going to take the box or go to our website. We have the measurements on the Chazella product page on our website. And I'm gonna take my stem and I'm gonna use the bottom bolts cause it's more arrow if you put yours on the bottom, but you could put it on the top if you needed to. Um, and I'm going to line them up with this handy dandy guide we have on here. And so it kind of just shows you, it's a quick guide to see if you have the right Chazella for you. So you notice there's a wide fits both and standard here on the back. So I'm going to take my stem and line it up with the center and it's coming out to be a wide. So I'm going to choose the wide. If you have an integrated stem from a popular brand, we have many options. So go to our website and see what we have. We have more current models. So if you have an older version, we may not have a Chazella for that, but we have a lot of current versions. So today we're gonna install the Chazella on this bike that I have here. So I got my Chazella, it is a standard Chazella. So first I'm going to use the handy dandy guide on the back and check to make sure I got the right one. So I'm gonna line it up here 
and the center is in the standard category. It's actually in the both, but it's on the it's on the more closer to the standard side of the both. This is just at the beginning, and I got the correct Chisella for this. What you're gonna need for this is your T ratchet kit and torque tube for specking at the end. So first, I'm gonna open my box. I'm gonna pull out my Garmin puck, my Chisella that has the Wahoo puck on it, but we can change that out. I'll show you how in a moment. This bag of pieces that I need for the install and my accessory mount. So to change out the puck on your computer mount, you're gonna take your two and a half millimeter and you're going to just unscrew it here from the center bolt. And you're just gonna pull it out. But one thing you wanna notice is that there is this little tab on it and you don't wanna break that as that holds it in place so it can't rotate around freely. So I'm gonna wanna install my Garmin puck. So I'm gonna wanna find this little hole here on the inside of the Chisella and line that up with the tab of the Garmin puck and it just kinda slides in. And then I'll put my screw back on. it down nice and tight and there we go and we changed our puck so then next I'm gonna want to open up my bag and I have two screws and two spacers so the spacers are super important that they go in front of the chisella and I'll show you what I mean by that here in a moment but the chisella doesn't fit perfectly to all of your stems so the spacers kind of help fill in that gap to make it more stable. So what I mean by that is you're going to take your screw and put it through your hole on your chisella and then your spacer and then it goes on your bike. So I'm going to grab my 4mm and start screwing this in. Alright, and I got it on there just tight enough to hold it while I get the other ones ready, but not so tight so I can start evenly torquing it down. Then I'm going to do my screw, and then my spacer, and then put it in there. Start tightening. Now I'm gonna use the accessory mount and attach it to the chisella. The little hole is gonna to go towards the back of your stem. So you can screw it in for more security if you'd like. And clip that in. So now I'm going to torque it to its spec. All right. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the Chisella, feel free to leave a comment down below or send us an email to sales at silka.cc. Thanks for watching.